Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Paul Arthur, who is the ANZ Vice President for OutSystems. So OutSystems is, is a low-code platform which provides the tools for companies to develop, deploy, and manage omnichannel enterprise applications uh, with an aim to transform how enterprise software is delivered. So welcome to the jam, Paul. Thanks, Nick. No worries. So to start off, could you please just give us a uh, quick introduction to OutSystems? How long have you been around for? What do you do? That sort of thing. Yeah, sure. Uh, I think you did a very good introduction of the company yourself actually right at the beginning, but uh, OutSystems has been uh, around since 2001. It was formed actually in Lisbon, Portugal, uh, by a group of developers who thought that there had to be a better way to write code and build applications. Uh, and over the 19 year history, they developed a very rich product that effectively automates and visualizes the code writing process to allow people to develop faster, more agile solutions for their enterprise. Right, yeah. And what do you see in the next year or two for the ANZ region with this in mind? Is, is it evolving with your sector, with your industry? Will it be deeply affected by the current economic trends with COVID-19 happening? What's, what do you see happening? Yeah, I think it's been really interesting. COVID-19 has brought into very clear relief uh, the fact that agility is one of the key traits that businesses need. Um, and often in the past, uh, people have sacrificed agility, agility for cost or for standardization. Uh, and what they're now seeing is, you know, as been mentioned in the past, every company is now a software company. Well, maybe I don't, I don't believe that literally, but I do believe that software has a role to play pretty much every business uh, uh, across the, any, of, any of the industry sectors. And what we're seeing is people are now trying to use software to become the differentiator of their business. So rather than using commercial off-the-shelf packages, which give them no differentiation because you end up being the same as everybody else, they may be using those for more commoditized solutions. But in Australia, there's definitely, and New Zealand for that fact, there's definitely a move to use things like low-code application development platforms to create differentiation of experience for their customers and create differentiation of their cost base within their infrastructure. Right. And on a similar note, um, so you talked a little bit about the industry changes, but I was wondering if you could talk more specifically about OutSystem itself. How has is, how is, uh, that changed, uh, your company changed since the pandemic started? I think we've had to ramp up. We've, we've been hiring more people to actually meet the demand of, of what uh, as our customers and our prospects have come to us because people are starting looking to use the technology uh, in more, more compelling ways. Uh, there's definitely been a move. We've released new functionality recently around the concept of workflow building. So not just building applications from a visual perspective for end user client experience, but actually building internal workflows to connect many disparate systems. So we're actually releasing more functionality um, to actually meet the demands that people are now actually facing under COVID. Right. And who are your clients? Who is currently using the platform, your platform in the ANZ region specifically, and, and how are they using it? Yeah, it's interesting. We have over 100 customers across the ANZ region, and globally, OutSystems has about 1,500 enterprise uh, customers. And it's really diverse. OutSystems is not a vertical play company. We have very diverse, our, our applications and our uh, solutions actually fit any organization that wants to use software to improve their customer or employee experience or the efficiency of their IT business. So we have organizations from the resource sector, organizations from finance, from retail, um, healthcare, uh, and even government organizations as well, who are looking to use our software predominantly over three areas. Um, the first area being around this concept of digital experience, creating this omni-channel seamless experience for their customers so they can move from web to mobile to desktop and back again with uh, a level of consistency of experience that allows them to obviously interact more efficiently with, uh, with, the, with the business that they're working through. So it's probably the thing that's most visible for our systems. And, and for example, you know, a customer of ours, uh, UBT in Australia, reduced uh, an application that allowed their um, volunteers to actually take to market a rapid relief food package delivery process under COVID in under six weeks to react to the demands of people who may be stuck at home and weren't able to actually get out 
to the shops during the first lockdown phase of COVID. Uh, and they used uh, out systems to do two things. One is to create the visual application, the, the mobile application for the actual delivery people and the volunteers to use. And the second thing is to then interface that back with their scheduling systems to allow the actual scheduling of the tasks uh, around. So that was a really interesting visual use case. Um, one of the other areas is around the concept of what we call um, digital core. And that's where organizations are looking at their legacy platforms that they may have invested in many years ago uh, and have been keeping running because you know, no one wants to change. If it's not broken, don't fix it conversation. Um, all of a sudden, they've now seen that many of those uh, systems, although not broken, are limiting their ability to innovate. So, for example, the revenue office in the ATC territory actually used out systems to wrap that around one of their legacy systems to take advantage of uh, out systems, more mobile and visual interfaces and our ability to connect through multiple APIs to many different technologies and use out systems as a wrapper around that vector legacy technology at first. And then phase two is actually to replace that legacy technology with out systems in a modern, fresh coded environment. Right. And have you found that um, with your low code um, software, is it going towards more rapid app development or visual development? Um, what's, what, what's your take on, on that? It's an interesting concept because you know, whenever you use the word low code, it can be quite emotive. Um, and, and we really sort of still uh, have that term around because of the Gartner Magic Quadrant. They had their low code application platform quadrant, of which obviously we're a leader in, in that space. But people often think our oh, low code, it's just for building apps, maybe for front end mobile. It's not something that's robust enough for, for an enterprise or for building a live application. But what we're actually talking about with a low code platform, it's really the autom automation and visualization of coding. The code that's created underneath the platform is as powerful and as strong as any manually created code. It's just done in a more efficient and agile manner. So it's done in a way where the platform writes the code, you direct the platform to create the code. Uh, what that means is you're not building yourself legacy and you're not building yourself technical debt because the platform is obviously always updating that core code. You're not in a situation where somebody writes it, doesn't document it properly, uses a shortcut, doesn't tell anybody, and then all, all of a sudden in three or four years time, you've got debt, technical debt to be able to reverse out some of that. So using the low code platform, it's not low code, it's low workload of building code. Awesome, right. And um, finally, what is the best way to reach out to you for to OutSystems for members of our audience interested in finding out more? Well, I think the great thing about OutSystems is we really believe in our product and we like people to be able to touch it and feel it. So if anyone would like to go to OutSystems.com, which is our website, there's the ability to uh, access a free personal environment where you can start building your own applications within that very, very quickly. And we have organizations, people have built in a number of hours have built usable applications in that personal environment. So I'd encourage anybody who's interested in building new applications in a rapid and agile way to visit outsystems.com and sign up for one of our personal environments. Perfect, cool. Well, that concludes today's 10 minute IT Jam with OutSystem Vice President for ANZ, Paul Arthur. Thank you so much for coming on today, Paul. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks for your time, Nick.